Yeah, just having a look at Jakey. It's a collection of AC back to that day. So happy, Prabhu, Abba. Sure, everybody. Hey, who? How's it going? What's your name? My name is Johnny. How are you? Johnny. My name is Pajanya. Pajanya. Nice to meet you too. This is your lucky day, my man. Oh my god, my lucky day? I thought my lucky day was yesterday, to be honest. I felt like it was better. It's getting better and better. Oh, awesome. It's getting better and better all the time. It's the uh, ocean of transcendental happiness. It's constantly increasing. I like it. So, um, this is Mr. Bhagavatam. How are you, my friend? Yes, I'm very good. I'm very good. As you see, down here, we got the... uh, uh, how would you say Shri Mad Bhagavatam? Bhagavatam. Yeah. And of course, AC Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhu. Yeah, yeah. Very interesting. The main man. work of his life is to translate this yeah. into English and to spread it all over the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this um, can save humanity, actually. Really? Yeah. yeah how can it save humanity? Because they look pretty. Uh, they look pretty silly at the moment. Huh? Humanity looks like it's doing the same thing it always does. Kind yeah. of like delves into a deep sort of self-hatred and yeah. tries to project its own want to die upon itself. Yeah, so no more spiritual... Basically, the reason is we're not following any, any spiritual teachings. You know? we're, not, we're not following the teachings of, uh, of the Bhagavatam, basically. These are the uh, law books for humanity for the next 10,000 years. Yes, 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 yes. And uh, if we live by these books, our life will become uh, blissful. It's a lot and of the books. The whole world will change. Yeah, it takes only one year to read the whole thing. Do you think one year? You read every day a little bit. Uh, one year, one year and a half. Yeah, yeah, two yeah. Years, yeah. Matches, it, uh, it depends how quickly you read. Yeah, it depends, you know. But and uh, your set, your level of consciousness. Huh? Because well, if you don't have the same like level of consciousness as someone who uh, well, at the beginning, it's, it becomes so this hard. Is, this is a scientific work. So as you start with number one, you start wherever you're at, and then. It purifies your consciousness. It, it uplifts your consciousness mm-hmm. by reading itself. Yeah. So by the time you reach number 10, Kanto, you're ready to understand Krishna. Où vient d'où en France? Je suis de Laval, la Bretagne. Oh, d'accord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, I am from Cardiff. Okay. Uh, I, I did uh, uh, live in Lyon for a little bit of time. Lyon. Well, near bourgoin jalieu and uh, Meilly and okay. <laughs> it's, uh, I still haven't got used to be able to uh, parler français, okay, you know. That's okay. You can learn Sanskrit, that's better. Woo! I'm not sure how many of the kids on the street speak Sanskrit. Well, but... that's cool, I think. Yeah, I know. It's, it's all a game. So, my friend, um, I want you to have this. The whole, the whole stack. You see, it goes in the box up there. Ah. Uh, oh, yes. Will, uh, you will carry what you like and preserve what you have. I would, you know, I would love to say yes, but there's many reasons why I have to say no. There is no reason. There is no excuse. excuse. I am, because I am an ever-bursting moment of energy in space and time that has to go into that direction without uh, carrying loads of books. on your way back. But there's always a chance for me to come and get these books, isn't there? Because aren't you based somewhere around and I could just go to a place and I could speak to a load of people and they would be happy to speak with me? And they may even feed me lentils. Yeah. <laughs> is this but true? C'est vrai, mon ami. That's my mission in life: is to give out, is to distribute this to people. So I deliver it to people's places. Like wow! Place. Ding dong! You yeah. <laughs> ding dong! Ding dong. Ah. That's me with the bag of atom. Yeah, yeah. you're the bag of atom man. And, um, <laughs> Who is it? Is it postman? No. <laughs> is it development? No, it's a bag of atom. Oh, I can't, yeah. get, I can't yeah. get it. <laughs> there's nothing, there is nothing like this in the whole creation. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, yeah. From this, you can build an empire. An empire. You can, you can um, build an empire. What type of empire, though? Well, the Vedic empire. Like you can uh, change your inner world and change the world around you. Like all the knowledge is there. Politic, politics, soci- sociology, uh, uh, everything is there. Like uh, scientific, uh, everything is there. How to live uh, mm-hmm. in harmony with nature. And uh, based on the laws of karma, and you know, like live a simple living and high thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, live off the land, you know. And um, I think it's all. I think that's all very extremely good. Yeah. I feel. I feel that I'm not sure that society is completely ready. No, but we've got to be ready ourselves. So we do. We do that. We take this in our life and we apply it in our life. 
and then uh, we become examples. Okay, a, a question. A, que a, 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 a question. Like in 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 most of these, like in uh, in Judaism, you got the return of the Mashiach. In Christianity, you know, you got end days times, and here comes uh, here comes Christ, etc., and the Antichrist before him. And then in in Islam, you got the Mahdi, and you got the return. Is there a, a a point in within these within within Krishna? Where any is any end point, or is it only positive? Is there a point where everything has to be reset, or is yeah, the reset yeah, yeah, yeah. just your own self conscious yeah. So the the, the, the material creation is created and annihilated again and again. Okay. It takes millions of years, but it's a cycle. Do you think those religions are all describing the same thing? Hey, I'm not sure. I'm not so. Um, um, I think yeah, most religions have, have an understanding of like an end of kind of uh, this kind of civilization. This, um, you know, and, uh, but it's never the end because we're eternal. So uh, it's just uh, so here we start we live in Kali Yuga again. Yeah. So we live in an age where everything is becoming degraded. Everything is like uh, is the Iron Age, and then everything will be annihilated, and uh, it will be start again back to the Golden Age. Mm -hmm. but we... The cycle cycle yeah but we don't we don't have any business here we we want to go back to the spiritual world so we're kind of stuck here we're stuck yeah stuck in the mud yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. stuck in the mud alive yeah because the body is you know our body is and the material world is a place of suffering you know? mm -hmm. no matter who you are how rich how beautiful how powerful Completely you are completely agree with you, you um, so, the uh, more rich and the more powerful uh, potentially even the more suffering so as well yeah maybe and the more the mind is distracted and, uh, and disturbed, so the only solution is um, is, um, is to be connected with God you know, in loving yeah. service. And to dance here huh? and there. And to dance here and there. Yeah, dance. And, and to, to, chanting to, to and dancing, yeah. Chanting, Applying this dancing. Our life, you know? This is like, um, you hear about the life of great kings and great saintly people who lived in the past and how they, um, you know, the exemplary behavior and attitude and... Uh, but just by reading, it's uh, it's uplifting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, most so definitely. It's cleansing for the mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, You're an amazing man. Mention, who will not hear such such message except one who is, is who is a butcher or one who is killing his own self? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yeah. I think I know a lot of people from a lot of religions who will uh, who would who would agree with, I with those words. Shake this out, my friend. This Srimad Bhagavatam, what is the thing? This Srimad Bhagavatam is the literary incarnation of God and it is compiled by Shula Vyasada, the incarnation of God. It is meant for the ultimate good of all people and it is all successful, all blissful, and all perfect. Mm. Persons who have lost their, their vision due to the dense darkness of ignorance in this age of Kali shall get light from this prana. The light. The light, my friend. The sunlight Srimad Bhagavatam can bring enlightenment to those who are immersed in the darkness of ignorance produced by the age of Kali. You see, it's shining through mm -hmm. It's a dark age we live in. And the only saving grace is the Bhagavatam. Ooh, well, you sell it, my friend. You sell, you sell it with your soul. You, I don't mean you sell your soul. You mean you sell it with your soul. You give your soul over to something that you truly believe in. and it's. Uh, you deserve to read this in your life. Everyone should... Every gent Prabhupada said every gentleman should have a set of Bhagavatam in their home. Okay. Well, I, I can dig that. But if if that's going to happen in my life, I'm going to come find you guys. Where, if I'm in Cardiff and I want to hang around and learn more or pick up my own selection of books so that I can... Just take my number and I'll, uh, I'll just make, make the arrangements for you. <laughs> yeah. I'm always ready. You're always ready.
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Everyone to request.